Hi friends, last video I have shown you how to set up the cap drop UI to connect the Kafka server. So in this video I will show you how to set up the Offset Explorer to connect the Kafka server. So for, for connecting the Kafka server to Offset Explorer, we need to download the Offset Explorer from the Kafka, Kafka tool site. So, so for downloading I am go, going to Chrome browser. Here we need to we need to search Offset Explorer. Then you will see one site is appear which name is www.kafkatools.com. So we need to click this URL and here you will you will see all the information about available of, available of the Offset Explorer. So so for for downloading we need to click download option. Here you will see lot of <coughs> lot of platform wise Offset Explorer is available. So so based on our system, we need to download the Offset Explorer. Uh, as of now, my my system is a Windows 64 bit. So we need to download this one. Uh, I have already already downloaded the Offset Explorer. So so no need to download the Offset Explorer. You can see here in the download option that one i have already downloaded so so after 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 downloaded you need to you need to inst install this exe file by clicking by 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 clicking this exe file so i am clicking this one Once it it install, we need to we need to run the Kafka server and and Zookeeper as well. Then then we need to connect the Kafka server and Zookeepers in the Offset Explorer. So now let's wait until it will not install. Yeah, now now it is. Yeah, I'm giving the agree permission here now we need to install this one wait sometimes it will take some times once it installed we need to we need to run the kafka server and kafka zookeeper yeah now now it is installed now we need to run the zookeeper first one so we are going to kafka folders by using cmd so my kafka folder is available in the c drive so so i'm going to c drive then then going to kafka folder here by using cd command we are going to kafka folder here we need to run we need to go window window folder and here zookeeper server that is start batch file is available so by using this this batch batch file we need to run the zookeeper first one and also adding the zookeeper property for running the zookeeper server once once it is started then then we will start the kafka server as well now it is started you can see here our zookeeper is running 2181 now we are going to run kafka server as well so going to c drive going to kafka folder here there is here we need to go bin folder window folder and type kafka server and type the type the type button and adding the server property now entering it once Kafka server is started, then then we will open the Offset Explorer to connect the Kafka server and the Zookeeper. So let's wait until until it will not start. Yeah, now now it is started. You can see our our Kafka is running 9092. So I am going to run Offset Explorer. For Offset Explorer, we need to 
object explorer just to fit where we are going to c drive i think it is not installed previously so i am clicking again let's see if it is already installed then then no need to install it again Once it is installed, then then we need to run the Offset Explorer. Um, again, installing it. I think uh, previously there was some issue in the installation, so. So I am again installing the Offset Explorer. Yeah, now it's installed. Then we need to run the Offset Explorer. So for running the Offset Explorer, we need to double click on the Offset Explorer. Canceling it. You can see here. Once you have opened the Offset Explorer, you will see in the left hand side there is a cluster. Cluster text is appear. In here you need to click right click, and here you need to pass the cluster name like any in any name like dev test or or anything based on your requirement. So here I am connecting our local. Local system Kafka server. So here, giving name as a local Kafka. Here, here we need to we need to pass the Kafka Kafka server Kafka server port. Here also adding the zookeeper information. You can see our zookeeper. Running is 2181 port. So by by pinging, we can check we, we can check the zookeeper port is enabled or not for accessing. Yeah, it in if you see this message, server is listening on the specify port. Then 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 it is okay. Same, we need to check Kafka server as well. Here you can see it is also also giving the Server is listening on the specified port text port messages, so it is also enabled. Now we need to go to security. Security here, you you need to type you need to select type type equal to plain text, and here advanced you can you can add your SSL information is available or not available, then leave it. Here you need to click use background thread to read from the consumer offset topic. Now going to property here you need to test first. Yeah, now now it is it is successfully added successfully tested. So we need to click text. Here once you click click it, you need to click click on click right click and Click the connect. You can see our our Kafka is connected to our local Kafka server. Here you will see the broker brokers information. It is running my local system, so it is giving host name as a Vivek and port is 0902. Here you will see all the topic information like test. We have last time we have created the text, so here you can see the topic information. In consumer, you can see all the consumers name. consumer's name so if you want to click the topic you need to click, click uh, you, you need to right click of the topics here here you need to click the create topic after that you can define the topic name partition and replica how many replica you want to 
add here and here con configuration section you can add the your your configuration so this is the config this is the this is the in information which is provided the offset explorer in here in upcoming video i will show you how to how to run the kafka kafka server and and zookeeper on the dockers thank you thank you guys if you if you like my video you can subscribe my channel thank you let's let's meet in upcoming next video